All right, so I want to show you all something real quick. So one print that did finish uh, because of power loss recovery is this guy right here. Now, what is special about this is, well, this is a part that I'm printing to this larger prop here that I'm printing, but this is a demonstration of one of the things you can do when you have an AMS system like the AMS Lite, the AMS Gen 1, the Cobra 3 with its AMS system, and the uh, Prusa with its MMU, and the coming Creality K2 Plus that's going to have a AMS system as well is you can not only print in multiple colors, but you can also print in multiple materials. So I combined that into this print. I used PLA dudv 2 oops, and then I used Acidity PETG. Now why I use these two together is because I wanted to print this in PETG, but I did the supports in PLA. And the reason I did that is because that, the two do not bond to each other. So, as you can see here, let's see if this is as easy to get off. Yep, there we go. Comes right off, and I can just peel the support material away. Now, as you can see, the it's not perfect, but look how smooth these surfaces are compared to what they would traditionally be if I just used say PETG supports to print PETG or if I used PLA to support PLA. The benefit of using different materials in one print is that I can support this model and the top Z distance uh, for this was set at the same layer height as I printed the model in. And the uh, distance between the model and the support material was zero millimeters. So I printed, I started printing the model immediately with no gap at all, right above the support. And so that allows you, if you've got something that you wanna print, you have access to one of these multi-material systems or you're thinking about getting into 3D printing and you wanna get into one of these multi-material systems or one of these printers that has a multi-material system, like, like I said, this is not perfect, but as far as the condition goes, like if I just look, let's see, let me look at something. Okay, so see this, although up the model printed great, and I did my best, I'm, I'm still playing with support settings and stuff like this, and this is not bad for, for support scarring on a model, okay, but, compared to this, if you're talking about post-processing a model, imagine this was a helmet, and you could do it vice versa. You could print the helmet in PLA and use PETG as support, or vice versa, because the two do not bond to one another, as you can see. And there's even multiple layers, so as you can see, I can even peel off, see this PETG that was laid down on top of this PLA as a pre-layer before it started building the model, okay? And the support just falls apart because the two don't bond to one another. And even in the purge block here, they don't bond to one another. I can split them apart as they were printing. So that's just one of the things that you can do when you have a multi-material system, whether it's from Bamboo Labs, whether it's the Cobra 3 that's already out, the uh, Prusa uh, printers that have the MMU, and the upcoming Creality K2 multi-material system that is supposedly supposed to be reverse compatible with like their K1 Max and their K1 and their K1C and stuff like that. So that that is an advantage to, I'm interested to see how that happens because that's the only one that is making a multi-material system that is reverse compatible with um, previous generation printers. Now you can put the Prusa MMU on other earlier versions of Prusa printers. So that's the only two, I should say. 
but um, this is just one of the things you can do when you have multi-material. It's not just about printing different colors. You can also use multi-materials in one print to support an object. PLA supporting PETG or PETG supporting PLA so that you can get much cleaner and you can get much better supports because you don't have to the traditional way of doing supports on models is you change the top Z offset distance. So if the if I'm going to start a support material, I'm going to make the support material just one or two millimeters, you know, or three or four millimeters, you know, um, say, say three to five layers of filament i'm going to stop that support material just below where the model is going to start in order to lessen the impact that the support has on the structure of the model but that's where you can get some issues with support like this where i stop the support just a few millimeters below where the model is actually going to start so the model actually starts laying down over the support but there's a little bit of droop to it because it's coming down because that support material is not completely flush with the print you want it just a little bit off it will still bond as you've seen if you've removed supports from a print it'll still bond a little bit but it bond it doesn't bond solid uh, and it allows you to get less once you get those support settings dialed in you have less post-processing after the fact. But with using this method, where I printed one object in one material and the supports in another, you can set that distance at zero. You can set the distance for the top Z offset at the same level. So if you're printing in a 0 0.20, you can set the top Z distance to 0 0.20. Or you can even take it a little bit lower if you want to tighten this up even more but the uh, distance or the, the um, it's the width of the interface layer, okay? There's also, you have the top Z distance, but then you also what's called the width of the interface layer, how big you want that interface layer to be. Well, I set this at zero so that there was no gap between the support material and the start of the material for the model so that you get this kind of finish. This is very minimal post-processing or no post-processing at all because something is gonna go on top of this and you shouldn't have to, you wouldn't, you'll never see it anyway, but it'll make, the, it'll make it fit easy. So anyway, just wanted to show y'all that and um, let y'all see what y'all can do with uh, having one material support another one. So there you go.